Welcome back to Galaxy Defenders. We're about to do round two. We've got our Hulk, our Sniper, and our Med Tech, and we're ready to roll. Uh, but we have to go, of course, through the phases. And the first phase is Refresh, where powers and items refresh. Well, the only thing that would be refreshing right now would be the shield on the blue Xena Beta, but he, it already is at full. If he had used the shield, then it would refresh back to having one shield. So we're into the strategy phase. We have to assign the Alpha Agent. And this time I'm assigning the Hulk is going to be going first. It'll be Hulk, Sniper, and then the Med Tech. So the Hulk is our Alpha Agent. And now we have to roll for getting our wings, which means we could get a basic tactic. So what we do is roll three red dice for each of our agents, and we see if they get a GD symbol, which is this one here, on any of the rolls. So we're going to start with our Hulk, and we're going to roll, and he does not get a GD symbol. He will not be getting a basic tactic. Up next is the Sniper, and he also does not get a GD symbol. He will not be getting a basic tactic. All right, let's see if we have better luck with the med tech. And he also does not roll. So that round was pretty useless. Uh, we don't get any basic tactics. The reason we're doing that is because we did kill an alien on the first round. We got one of the alien tech pieces of four. And so now we're uh, finished with that. So it'd be uh, reinforcements, which we're not getting any. Mission status check. The portals are still active. Now it's into the battle turn where each agent takes a turn. So I'm going to readjust the camera, and I do believe our uh, Hulk here is our first Alpha Agent. He's going to be going first, so rearrange the camera, and we're going to have him take his turn. Okay, what we're going to do with the Hulk is we're going to have him move first. He has a movement speed of 3. I want him to get up in the face of the uh, Xena Beta a little bit here, because their tactics are to try and back away from uh, agents. Now what this is going to do, of course, is going to move 1 here. He's going to move 2. He's now going to see the uh, scan signal up above, so it's going to be shown, and he's going to go three spaces here. So, up above here, because he went in view of this uh, signal, the signal now flips over, and we know it's an alien because... Oh, hang on, it's a human. Okay, I must have done this incorrectly. Oh, did I screw that up? I did screw it up. It should be an alien. I put the human... A scan token back there. I apologize. There should only have been one. We've already had the one. So it should be an alien token. Oops. All right. Fixed now. And the other ones are going to be going face down, of course, because they're all alien tokens. All right. An extra. I misplaced and put the human one back there. I apologize. So we get an alien. So, of course, we have to know which alien is it. We take the first one off the top of the stack. It's a blue spine critter. Nobody has blue spine critters. So uh, let's go ahead and assign that to the Hulk. He does not have any aliens assigned to him at the moment. So he has the blue spine critter. Our uh, med tech has the blue Xeno Beta. And our sniper down here hiding again has the green spine critter. Okay, so our Hulk has moved. He could take an action. Um, the only action he really has to take is his uh, gaining ammo. But I don't think he's going to bother doing it now. He still has five ammo. He is going to take a shot, I believe. i got to make sure he gets his facing right. Um, ooh, this is interesting. And of course we have to put the blue <laughs> Xeno Beta at the top on that signal which I've just done. So I think his facing here is good because he can see everything this way. He can now see everything this way, which he can't quite see the blue Xena Beta, but he can see these two nicely enough. He's going to be shooting at the green Xena Beta because this guy is sitting right on top of one of the teleporters and we need to clear them off the teleporters so we can destroy them. Let's take a look at his weapon and see what he's going to be rolling. All right, nice. I hope this is focusing nicely. So he's got his big M4 machine gun type weapon. It's ranged. It has a range of two. He is within two of the green uh, spine critter. Uh, he's going to be rolling three red dice. And for every lightning, well, not if he gets any lightning bolts, it's going to add one damage. And he can uh, discard a bullet to do area damage, which he's not going to do. And he can discard any number of his five bullets to add hits. And he is going to do that. We're going to clear that path. He's going to discard two bullets to add two hits to whatever he rolls. So we're going to do that right away. So he's going to roll three red dice. 
He already gets two hits because he discarded two bullets. Let's go to the main board and we're going to roll up his dice. All right, our Hulk is doing an automatic two hits because he is going to be unloading so many bullets at the green spine critter. He gets to roll three red dice. Let's see if he can get any more hits. He gets a GD symbol, which he doesn't need. Okay, he gets one hit, two hits, and two lightning bolts. So for it doesn't matter how many lightning bolts you get, you only count it once. So he's going to get one, two, three hits, plus the two hits is five hits on the green uh, spine critter. All right, the green spine critter getting hit five times, and it only has three hit points and no armor. So roll five dice in defense, rolls one, two defense, and nothing else because he doesn't have any special funky things for his card. He just has no defense, three hit points. Did we just blow him away? Two shields and nothing else for five hits. He gets hit for three damage, and three damage is enough to kill him because he only has three hit points. So good for us. The green spine critter is off that portal point. Exactly what we wanted to do. And we also get the next piece of the alien tech. So we have two of four now. Once we get four, we're going to trade it in uh, for some upgrades, for reinforcements actually. And that's going to be our uh, Hulk's turn, but of course it doesn't end there because with every infiltrator or agent turn, we must look uh, and do a close encounter card. And the close encounter said, activate all spine critters. All right, that's actually not too bad because the only spine critter we have, as I slide the camera back up here, is right at the top of the board. It's the only one that's going to activate because it's the only one left. We just blew the other one away. Oh, and spine critters explode in uh, damage, but nobody was adjacent to it, just so you know as well. So we didn't have to worry about that. All right, the blue spine critter, what's it going to do? Well, first of all, yes, it has line of sight. So it's going to follow uh, range abilities, but it only activates it for zero range, one, one or more range. But it's not. It's way more than one. It's actually one, two, three away from the Hulk. Move up to two areas towards the most wounded agent. So it's going to move up to two areas towards the most wounded agent. The most wounded agent is nobody. But the agent with the least amount of hit points is the sniper, which is, again, hiding. So he's going to move two spaces towards the sniper. So he's either going to go here and here, or he's going to go here and here. And where would he go? Um, because let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, four, five, six, seven. So he's actually going to go one, two to here, because that's the shortest distance to get to our sniper, which of course you can't see, but our sniper is now right here. So it would go one, two, three, four, five, six. If it went this way, one, two. Three, four, five, six. Well, it can go either way. Um, what's the most beneficial for it? Doesn't really matter if it's here or here. I think the most beneficial for it would be here because then it's right beside that point. So I think it's going to go right there. All right. Movement for aliens sometimes can get a little uh, confusing because you have to figure out what is best for them. All right. That's the Hulk's turn. Up next is the Sniper. And so let's have the sniper uh, do his stuff. Okay, looking at the sniper here, again, every uh, agent gets a move, an action, and an attack. And I think the first thing he's going to do is uh, he's going to move one, two, three. And he'll keep his facing this way so he can see everything this way, all the way up to the board. And... Okay, yeah, the Hulk now, of course, still can't see the blue spine critter, but that doesn't matter. That was the uh, sniper's move. He has a movement of four, so he can even go one more space. And does he want to do that? I think he's going to move actually one more space to here. And now he's actually in line of sight as the blue spine critter as well. If we draw a straight line through here, he can see this blue spine critter, and he can also see the blue Xena beta. And I think he's going to shoot... This is losing his beta, but before he does any of that, he's going to take his action and he's going to torch this teleport point. So one down, three to go. Now he's going to attack. So let's take a look at his weapon. <sighs> he can either he can attack either one 
really sure which one is the most dangerous. Probably, probably the blue uh, spine critter. So let's take a look at his weapon first, and then we'll come back and decide which one he's going to take a shot. All right, he's got his neat little sniper rifle. It is a or rolls four red dice, has a range of four, and he still has full ammunition for it. And if he rolls a lightning bolt, he gets to ignore any jam symbols. So he will indeed be using that. And I think he is going to shoot at the blue spine critter. Uh, because we want to have the med tech, I think, go and get the weapons cache. And we're going to see if we can blow the uh, spine critter away. So we're going to have him shoot at them. So let's go back to the board. He's going to take a sniper shot at the blue spine All right, critter. taking a shot here. <laughs> to the blue spine critter. And once again, he gets to roll uh, four red dice with this powerful sniper rifle he's got. And let's see what he can do. Uh, and the blue spine critter has no armor whatsoever and he has four health. Come on, let's have a nice roll here. Oh, GD symbols. <laughs> Where were these when we were rolling for our wings? Uh, okay, this is another pretty good shot. He gets a jam symbol, but he rolled a lightning bolt, so he ignores the jam. Unfortunately, that's only two hits. Not a great uh, sniper shot, but it's he did it. He had to torch a telepad uh, and you know maneuver around, and two hits. So two hits on the blue spine critter. He doesn't have anything special. He's going to be rolling two blue dice for defense, and he rolls one shield, but one is going to go through. So that's going to be one hit. So I'm going to put one of these little hit tokens on the blue spine critter. And is that going to be his last hit? I don't know. Why? Well, maybe he'll get hit some more. All right. That's the sniper's turn. He moved. He did an action. He torched the teleporter, which will disappear in the next strategy phase. It's still active right now. Uh, and now we have to see what alien is going to have, uh, be activating. So close encounter for the uh, sniper. Oh, God. Oh, this is so excellent. Activate all the green aliens. Well, guess what? We don't have any green aliens. So that's pretty excellent stuff because all we have is blue aliens. So that was an excellent card for us. Uh, so nothing happens. All right, up next, the med tech. So to think about what he is going to be doing and we'll come back and have him uh, take his move. All moves. right, up next is the biotech. He has a movement speed of four, which is exactly what I want him to have. And he is going to move one, two, three, four on top of the weapons cache, which he will immediately uh, scoop, I believe. Although I'm going to have to check the rules on that because it might be an action to pick that up. But first, we're going to do a movement. Then he's going to attack the blue uh, spine critter. Now, he's in a dangerous position. He's right adjacent to it. And no, you don't have to stop your movement as when the second you become adjacent to an alien. So you could actually sprint right by him. Uh, you only check for engagement at the end. So yes, you can, you don't have to stop movement when you're adjacent. So that's what I wanted him to do is move there. But I think I want him to have his facing be this way so he can at least see this guy if he moves somewhere else. Yeah, this is going to be a little tricky, but he does now have a shot at the blue Xenobato. So let's take a look at his weapon. He's going to be shooting him, uh, it's not Xenobato, it's Spine Critter. He's going to be shooting him point blank. Let's see what he's got for our right, So our Biotech has a nice little shotgun. It does three red dice uh, for attack. If he rolls any lightning bolts, it's one extra attack. Um, if one or less deals area damage. Well, it will deal area damage, but there's nobody else in there, and I'm not playing with friendly fire rules anyway. I am playing with engagement rules. I'm playing the normal um, uh, scenario rules, which means uh, if you are... At the end of your, at the start of your turn, if you're engaged with an alien, you have to do a, uh, you are engaged, and you can only shoot at the alien. You can't shoot at someone at a distance. And I'm using the facing rule. All right, three red dice, uh, range of two, no problem. Let's go to the main board. He's going to roll up his three red dice and see if he can do some damage. And if he gets a lightning bolt, every or one lightning bolt is one extra damage. All right. So I've zoomed out for the actual dice rolling. All right, three red dice. Come on, let's get a good roll here. And, well, good and not so good. He didn't get a lightning bolt. He got jam symbols, which means, unfortunately, his shotgun is going to jam 
and he will need to take an unjam action next time if he wants to fire it again. But he did get three hits, so that's at least something. But unfortunately now the blue spine critter gets three dice to roll for uh, defense. So let's see what it gets. It only gets one shield. Okay, that's pretty good. So it's going to take two hits, which is going to give it a total of three damage. It has four health though, which is could be bad news for our biotech because it's probably going to chomp on him if it can. All right, he is last in order for this uh, round. And so let's see what aliens are going to activate on the close encounter. Uh, activate all aliens at zero range. Okay, so that blue <laughs> spine critter gets to attack. Yes, it will attack the biotech. I'm pretty sure. Let's take a look at its card. Uh, ignore stealth ability for the blue one. Well, nobody has stealth ability. All right, if adjacent to... Um, Zero, if adjacent to two or more agents, attack them with spine. Otherwise, attack with jaws. So it's going to attack with jaws. Jaws are three red dice, and each, if he gets a lightning bolt, it's an extra attack. So it's just like the shotgun attack. Youch. All right, he gets to roll three. Red dice attack against the biotech. Miss. Two GD symbols. Excellent. All right, it got one lightning bolt and one hit. So that's two damage. So our biotech gets to roll two dice for defense. Uh, he has uh, armor thorium mark one, uh, but we do lightning bolts before we do, uh, anyway, we'll see what happens. He does nothing. And we process the lightning bolt first, which means he has this thorium mark one armor, which if the lightning bolt means he heals one health, but he has no damage right now. And uh, he has no shields, which would then be used next. So basically, he's going to take two damage. And he's not allowed that one healing, because that happens before he takes the damage. So our biotech now has two damage of eight hit points. Not critical. And his shotgun is jammed. So we could be in a bit of trouble, but this guy's got three damage. Okay, that uh, is going to conclude the whole round. And at the end of the round now... We have an event taking place. All right, and the event we have taking place is upside down. Are these cards upside down? Okay, they flip this way. Maybe they're printed upside down. Wouldn't it be? Anyway, <laughs> it's Tempest Weather Agents. Um, speed is reduced by one, so that's going to be a persistent effect. I'm probably going to leave that on the board, so I will not forget. All signals move one area toward the closest agent. Don't have any signals on the board. If aliens are less than the number of agents, which they are, uh, then you look, we have three agents, we're going to get one signal teleporting in. And the unfortunate bit for us, so I'm going to leave that on the board, again, so I don't forget. The unfortunate bit for us is everything that's left now is uh, aliens. <laughs> so, that's pretty sucky, and it means whatever gate's in is going to be an alien, so, and every... Oh no, this one's not in line of sight. All right, let's see where the alien is going to appear. A shield symbol. And the shield symbol, of course, oh, is right beside our sniper. That is not good. And this portal is not destroyed yet. It's just on fire. So we will get an alien coming in there. And the alien we get showing up there. Oh, give me a break. Really is a blue spine critter. Ouch. And the blue spine critters, of course, all go with the Hulk. He has two of them now. This is really unfortunate. The blue spine critter shows up right beside the sniper. That is not where the sniper wants to be. As I'm sorry, you can't see that. Shows up here right beside the sniper. That is really bad news. And we didn't even kill this blue spine critter. However, that's going to be the end of our second round. Um, I don't know how we're doing. I think we are now in trouble. Because our agent, a sniper here, only has six health. And he has a blue spine critter with full health right beside him. That could indeed be a problem. All right, that's going to be it. Uh, so we will be rolling for our wings again next episode. Because we did kill an alien this episode. So this is Galaxy Defenders. I'm doing the first campaign mission. And I'm doing it campaign style. And... Uh, so far, I don't know if it's so good. We've definitely blown up one of the four teleporters. 
we need to, uh, of course, we need to get to the uh, strategy phase of the 11th turn uh, without having lost two of our three agents because that's, a, that's an immediate loss of the game. And a partial win is blowing up two to three of the transporters. Uh, a fail is not blowing up any le or less than two. So one or less is a failure. And if we blow up all four, it's a complete success. So that's kind of where we are. I don't know what's going to happen next round. I'm getting a bit worried here, but all right. Oh, and I've got to check here uh, on the med tech. If that's an action, can I think he can do an action beside a alien anyway. I'm pretty sure we picked this up. Uh, and this is also going to give us either a device of our choice or a random upgraded weapon in the next um, reinforcements phase. All right. And so let me just come back in one second. I'm going to double check that rule and then we're going to wrap it up. Well, I can't seem to find anything exciting on the ruling for that. So you know what? He got to the weapons cache. He moved. He attacked. His action was cracking open that box or radioing back to headquarters or whatever that represented and we are getting reinforcements next turn so thanks so much for watching along thanks for subscribing liking my videos and leaving comments i really appreciate it this is galaxy defenders we're doing mission one close encounters of the campaign and we're playing with the sniper the hulk and the med tech so thanks so much for watching along and we'll see you next time in round three